In this video, we'll be discussing the best ways to troubleshoot foam issues. This is one of the top five most common concerns that arises with machining operations. Foam can create safety concerns from overflowing sumps, reduce cutting efficiencies, and affect the cooling efficiency of metalworking fluids. To determine whether the cause of foam is chemical or mechanical, a simple shake test can be performed. This is done by filling a clear bottle half full with the system fluid and shaking vigorously for 15 seconds. If the foam breaks quickly, the coolant is performing as expected, and it is a mechanical issue. If the foam persists, it is a chemical issue. Let's discuss potential mechanical and chemical causes of foam. We'll first start with pump condition. The most frequent problem encountered with pumps is compromised seals and cracks in the pipes leading to or from the sump. When these conditions are present, air is introduced to the system and is entrained in the coolant. Vibration in a pump can indicate a need for further investigation. This can be determined by placing your hand on the top of the pump case. Routine inspection and maintenance of pumps is critical. Cavitation of a pump can occur when a sump fluid level is low and air gets pulled into the pump. Maintaining the proper level of metalworking fluid in the sump or lowering the pump intake can resolve this issue. Contaminants are another potential area of contribution to foam in a metalworking fluid system. Contaminants will impart a chemical reaction that allows foam to generate and remain stable. One example of this is with the oils used to lubricate the machine ways and hydraulics. High levels of oil leaking into solution can contribute to increased foam. Another contaminant that can be introduced inadvertently to the process are cleaners. Parts may carry over fluid from a prior process. Any residual cleaner that dries or pools in pockets can continue to build in the system over time and slowly change the foaming characteristics of the metalworking coolant. A third factor that can introduce foam into a system is through the water. It is always recommended that new systems be charged with city water or tap water as a means to introduce hardness to the system. It is never recommended to charge a system with deionized or softened water. This can introduce additional areas of concern and lead to an environment that will support unnecessary foam there are additional variables that can impact the frequency of foam in a system. Recognizing and addressing these variables can significantly reduce the impact to your operations. For more information on this and any other topics, please visit our website at castrol.com or reach out to your local Castrol representative.